Hello, this is Colonel Christopher Nichols here interviewing Dr. Really Rotten Stuff. He's a world re world renowned scientist who has discovered that there is a certain process to turn radioactive material into non radioactive material. Dr. Really Rotten Stuff, how does this work? Now, this is the machine here. It makes radioactive stuff no longer radioactive. You, you, oh, not I'm too close. close. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Robert Crenshaw, and I am a private eye. May not look like much, but I'm one of the best PIs in the city. Well, last night I was alternating between writing love letters to Camille, being smashed off JD. My head felt like it contained a native uprising, and I couldn't get the jungle drums to stop their incessant beat. I need just the cure. Things were tight, tighter than a floozy skirt. Had a few cases, only one with any real leads. Followed a small time hood named Tony Stramboni. He sometimes partnered with a thug named Stefan. Both had dropped out of sight a week ago. My client thought he was sleeping with his wife. But the ironic thing was, it turns out that the only midday rendezvous Tony had was with the local cokeheads. I'd made his acquaintance a few years ago, and I was still flat for it. He'd been involved in some small time robberies. Just then the phone rang. It was Camille. She said she had some information on Tony. 
She told me to meet her at a local park at noon. I decided to go on out and meet her there. I found a place to talk, Camille. I'd walk me one, two miles away from my car. It's not that far. You've been drinking. I don't have time for this. Just tell me what you know. If you want to know about Tony Straboni, I found out that he's working for his uncle. Well, what? What is he involved in? I really don't know. I just know it's really big, and it's probably more than he can handle. I don't know, Camille. Sometimes I might surprise you what I can do. It's an uncle. So Tony was working for his uncle now. Hmm. I decided I'd stake him out and see what I could turn up. The Strombonis were notorious for their ruthlessness. Maybe Camille was right. Maybe it was more than I could handle. But the bills don't get paid by playing it safe. It's a good place for us to keep things for a while. We'll just set it back out of the way. We'll be all right. So when are we taking it? Why don't you, you guys go ahead and take it, put it in the truck, and uh, we'll get ready to go, okay? device on guard for a minute, okay? Now I want you boys to take off. Go. It's right up there. Hey, Quito. 
show you where to put this device. You have to keep it down here for a while. See how it goes. Let's go get some of these. 